Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be working on our Tinkercad blocks. All right, this will be the block number one, which will teach you the basics to make the rest of the blocks. Your teacher should have already shared this worksheet with you, which lists all the blocks. The ones that are worth more points are more challenging to make, and the ones that are worth less points are a little bit easier to make. So let's start off with this first block right here, block number one. It'll teach you all the basics to make the rest of your blocks. Load up Tinkercad, click on Create New Design, at any point, if you can pause this video if I've gone too fast or you've missed a step or your Chromebook's being a little slow, and then you can resume the video once your Chromebook has caught up. We're going to drag a red box out, and we're going to make this 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters by 90. You can do that by typing 90 here. All right, again, click in the corner, and then you can type in 90, hit enter, or you can do it over on the side. I can type in 90 right here for the height, and I get a block that's 90 by 90 by 90. I like to click in the top right corner right here on your orientation cube, and that brings you to this view, and it's just nice to work in this view. Again, the top right corner right there. If you click home, it'll go back. Top right corner brings you here. I loaded this up in a photo program, and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to color different sides. You're not going to do this. This is for visual reference only. So first of all, we're going to work on the front side right here. And if you look on the front side of our shape and we were to paint it red, change the tolerance, if we were to paint that red, it's going to be that shape and that shape. Well, this one on the left already exists. So we're going to cut this away. And the shape we're going to use is this triangle right here. So we're going to draw this triangle on the front side and we're going to push it in. So let's do that. I'm going to come back here. We're going to be working on this side over here on the left, which is actually the front side. And we're going to push in a triangle. So let's pull out a triangle. All right. We're going to need to manipulate it. Now, if you look here, the right angle is up in this section. So let's go back. we got to look at this shape, and we have to rotate it 90 degrees. Nope, sorry, 45 degrees. Right there. All right. Now, if you click on the word front, you can see that that's been rotated. And if we move that up, all right, that'll match that corner, just like our picture. All right. Pause the video and you do it. Next, we need to make the size of this thing. Now, we already know that our block is 90 millimeters tall. So I'm going to click on the height and I'm going to type in 90. Whoa! It's all crazy. That's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. I'm going to bring it back down to where it was. Now for the, for the width, how long is this going to go? How far out is this going to stretch? Okay. Well, if we go and look at this drawing, okay, this goes about halfway goes about halfway. So if the whole thing is 90, what is half of 90? Half of 90 is 45. So for the length, I'm going to type 45. Okay. Now, how far back does this go? How far back are we cutting it? Well, we're cutting this about halfway back. So this is going to be 45, this, this edge. And then the distance from where the cursor is to here is going to be 45. So what that means is the piece we're cutting out is going to be 45 millimeters deep. So for the depth, I'm going to type 45. Okay, so here are my measurements. It's 45 by 45, and it is 90 millimeters tall. All right, now we need to turn this into a hole right here, and we're ready to align this. If I've lost you, rewind the video, look at it again. Start over if you have to, because the first block is the most important. Now we're going to do what's called aligning them. All right. We've already selected everything in other lessons. So if I click and drag, like I'm doing, click and drag, you can drag a box around everything. All right. I'll zoom in on it. All right. Click and drag, click off it, doesn't select it. Click and drag, selects everything. Okay. We're going to align them. Now, before you do anything, watch this. Here's your align tool. 
You see how we get these little dots? That's going to align it. The problem is we don't want the red block to move. So if I click here or click here, everything is moving. All right. But, but we don't want to move everything. So I'm going to undo that. Okay. Select everything. Click on the align tool, which is the top right up here. It looks like uh, two little squares. And then I'm going to pick the red box. I'm going to click on the red box first. That tells the computer that the red box is going to stay cemented or glued in place. And it will move the hole. Now if I click on the dots, all right, figure out which ones you need. That one. And just keep clicking. There you go, until you get it in place. If you click on the wrong dot, like, oh, that's not what I want. I don't want it there. I want it over in the corner. Just figure it out by clicking on the dots until you get it right there. Okay, and I'll zoom in on that. Again, if you click on the dots, it'll just keep moving all around. All right, now it's in the middle, but we want it over on this edge. All right, when you're done, just click off it. And we now have the hole placed in there. Now all you have to do is select everything and group it. Select everything and then here's your group button. Up on the top right, it looks like a circle and a square going together or you can press the letter G. And you've now cut it out. Now it's time to save this. In order to save it, up here, type your name. And type what block it is. This is block number one. Pause the video at this point if you've gotten lost, because now is the most important thing, turning it in. We're going to take a screenshot of this. All right. On your computer, it's going to be a little different how a screenshot works. But if you're on a Chromebook, you're going to press the control button, and then it's like a square with a couple lines above the number six. That'll take a screenshot, and then a window will pop up, and you can hit copy to clipboard. If you're on a normal computer, um, you're going to look down on the keyboard over in the right-hand top section for something that says print screen. And if you still can't figure it out, you can Google how to do it. All right. This is the document you were given with the blocks. We're going to go to the document to turn them in. Tinkercad blocks completed. Make sure your block was 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters. You want to click on the blue dot in the upper corner. So make sure that you've clicked right here. All right, I don't want to see this view, all right, because I'll miss details. Click on the corner, just like that. All right, my blue dot, that's right here. See the little blue dot on my diagram? All right, make sure your name is shown in the yellow box. All right here we have block Corbett 1, or block 1 Corbett. All right, paste a screenshot with your blocks and don't crop it. So let's go down here. Points. This one here is worth two points. Right there, it says two points. So I'm going to type in two. And then I'm going to hit return. I'm going to paste my screenshot. There it is. You can see my name here. You can see my block. And now I can go make another one. And all of them are going to be the same. Make sure your name is in the corner. And make sure you have a nice view of your block here. Good luck. Look forward to seeing what you make.